I have my FPS down at the bottom right. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Farm Sim. We got Landy, Mr. Moose, and a Mr. Deputy P in. Even though Deputy P doesn't know yet he's in, but he's in a video. We're trying out the 1.3 beta. Don't really see too much different yet, but from what Landy was saying, the logs act a lot more realistically, so figured I would give it a shot. Even though that wasn't a very good showing of it, but and I'm also going to kind of leave these full lengthers out and basically shut this guy off as soon as it stops rolling. Yeah, I'm going to shut this guy off here. We're kind of going to see what everybody's doing still. We haven't got uh, everything figured out what tasks at hand are going on. Oh, Landy, you're delivering the, uh, yep, you're delivering me, and you're stuck. Yeah, I am. The funny thing is, I'm not stuck on anything. I see a log pushed up against and trees. And I'm so far away from it. Unless the hitbox on this truck's huge. It could be. Oh, okay, I see exactly what happened. The downriggers on the trailer were on that hill. Uh, yep. The landing gear legs. Yeah, I see it. There you go again. <laughs> At least his truck turns. Yeah, that landing gear does not like that at all. <laughs> I'm gonna say Delivered. this is about as far as you're gonna go with that, buddy. Oh, it's high centered. It's completely stuck. Can you drive? No, oh, you gotta unlock me. No, that's the wrong one. It's been a while for this trail. Let me do a bit of reading. Yeah, you could unhook the truck. I think then it gets. Yeah. There you go. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, there, there you go. Oh, no. Not quite. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, uh, I'm off. I had to. Just what a guy. It's X. Left button X. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot what button it was, but I figured it was something kind of like that. So I figured I haven't used the old Ponze Buffalo in a while, so I would do a little bit of that. Probably should have helped Landy get himself unstuck there, but... I saw it. You got her. Yeah, the sleeper would, uh, wouldn't exist anymore, but I got <laughs> a sleeper. Giving her a couple good rams? One very fast one. Mm-hmm. Not really much to look at in the old Ponzi. 
in cab at least. No, just the interesting joysticks. Mm hmm. Just the interesting joysticks. Isn't it? Yeah, but you don't even really see that. All you see is like the uh, dash and the hood and a windshield yeah. wiper. <laughs> oh, no, that's cab. The, I'm thinking of the actual uh, processor. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wish this thing had uh, all wheel drive and diff lock and everything else. Kind of weird it doesn't. Then again, it is a stock vehicle. I think it could be due to the way the axles are set up. Could be. Because they're, they're one of those ones where they. the whole sort of gear or assembly, if you like, inside it pivots mm -hmm. on the center hub. Yeah, it's just oh, you see, there's a uh, mod out now for Track IR. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> all right, I'm back. Well, all right, I'm recording, buddy. All right. Just to let you know. No problem. Where well, you don't come in, <laughs> raping or raving. Yeah, I saw that. It'll be interesting to see what it's like. Yeah. I'll let you know how it is. <laughs> you <getting> truck out? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It wouldn't surprise me, no. No. Okay, the question is, have you got it on your wish list on eBay? No. I was going to say, because if you did, no, you'd have to buy it. Nope. No more wish list on eBay. <laughs> sure about that? Just a watching list. Alright, so uh, Landy's cutting, you're running the buffalo, and then I guess I'll do some chipping. I don't know what Landy's doing, I figured. Uh, Landy's trying to get the uh, process rush working. Hmm. There's ether in the cab. Well, halfway through this, if you want, you can swap. Once you get too pissed off with that chipper. Because it's gonna happen. Yeah, we can okay. we can buy another chip or two. I got that uh, one that goes on the back of a truck. Yeah, the only thing with this one is that uh, you got to constantly move it and the uh, and whatever reset receiver you're using. You know. Mm -hmm. That and I don't really like how the camera layout is on it. It doesn't really work for my. Well, it makes everything uh, pretty much in uh, inverted controls. Not big on inverted at all. Wow, the latency in this is unreal. Latency in what? The uh, processor and moving the tree around. Why would you have it happen? The, the uh... I move. I slew the whole sort of excavator around, and then the tree eventually thinks, "Hey, I should be in the floor," and then it will catch back up. Hmm. So like a head issue? Desync with the head? Well we know this thing works okay in uh, normal version. I'm guessing beta issues. I don't know. 
What, what do you want it? these cut to? I was doing five, unless somebody was getting. I cut down some pole lengthers just in case. But if you're cutting, yeah, five meter. Five meters? I thought you did six. No, five meter. Well, I probably could get away with six now, but it, you can stack uh, logs in the truck. Uh-huh. Uh, you can stack two, two sets of stack in the truck when you do six it hangs out the back quite a bit five it is oh, these stupid fleagle trailers giving me nightmares which one's that buddy uh, it would be the one that was legal written all over the side of it. Oh, there's two, there's two legals. That's what I was asking. Is it the one with the hydraulic ram? Yeah. Yeah, but watch what it does when I try to back over the hill here with it. The whole thing slides down the hill. Really? Oh, because you're getting high-centered on the frame? Yep. Yep, that's exactly what was happening with Landy. Holy. Yeah, that was the processor. Not processor, the... Low boy. Thing. Yeah, I'm going to leave it right there and see what happens. I'm wondering if this beta actually works with multiplayer. Should do. I'm just wondering because my logs are moving a little bit. Not really spazzing out or anything like that, but they're moving backwards on the trailer. Around the uh, buffalo. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I was kind of pitched at a hill. Hmm. They really need to fix the tracks on this thing. Well, as soon as Timber gets his done, man. If you're still working on it, because I haven't seen nothing new from that. He's been doing it mod edits, that's the thing. Mm hmm. He's been doing other mod edits. Yeah, I like, know. That's what kind of scares me. Hopefully, it wasn't just a uh, whistle in the breeze.
chipper seems to work fine. Good. I wasn't having all that many issues with it the other day, but uh, until actually, until I had uh, actually got maybe at 40% in the trailer, and then the log would actually push the chipper down the hill. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was like a big old cloud. I, I don't know, there was a collision somewhere. I put the log in the chipper, and the chipper would automatically just kind of like uh, spaz out. But the first 40%, she worked real good. <laughs> Other than the operator error. Am I resting? Hey, uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're kind of on me. <laughs> God, I can't see a thing right now. <laughs> All of a sudden, the tree wouldn't go down any further. It's like, wow, uh, yeah, workplace fatality. Well, you should have been equipped with a roll cage or nothing. Not in the budget. <laughs> it's alright, the tree just went through the glass on this one. I Docking swear. from your pay. I just crashed. Well, what made you that, crash? That's worksite fatality right there, he died. Oh god. But his game did. <laughs> yeah, the tree through the head. Put me <laughs> under. Just dickered. I'm not really seeing this nice game changing beta yet. Not saying it's not going to happen, but I'm not really seeing much different. I'm to sitting here, it's still beta. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here recording some claw action, and I'm thinking, man, I'm going to get a good video tonight. Not for a game, man. Crash. <laughs> Burn. Frickin' Landy. Just dig Was it Giants that crashed, or was it... Frost? It was Giants. Giants completely mm. crashed. Can't say I've had that, because oh. I've not played multiplayer with a patch, but... Yeah, I, uh, I hope mine doesn't. I might have to save here shortly. I'll save it now, just in case. I'm gonna lock you up, so mm -hmm, coming mm -hmm, back in. Mm -hmm. I just oh, freaking put my finger on the escape button. Said, oh, I crashed. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you got a weird pause there, Moose. You go from 10 all the way like to 80 in like 3 seconds. With the synchronizing. Oh. Yeah, it's weird. Well, she's actually not it, going all that fast this time, though. It just started on mine, man. So. Oh, there it went. It got up to, like, 30, and it freaking just turboed. All right, come all right, here. So we're going to do a save real quick. set everything up see if we can start recording again <laughs> Well, 
what I'm wondering also is how I was having the uh, bottlenecking feature go on and my bottlenecking was actually right around the same time you guys were having an issue with the frame rate drop and everything I'm wondering if that was all connected probably yeah cause your hard drive would have been working double that's what I mean info try and take it on and then trying to send it to y'all yeah, that's what I mean and that's what I kept complaining about how I can watch all these guys that just do all this frickin logging and have no issues whatsoever in multiplayer and how we always have had issues so this will really this will tell us but I don't even know if all my stuff is really squared away with my uh, external I don't even this is the first time I'm actually recording with it on so hopefully. for the most part they, they just plug and play so everybody keeps telling me Now, I mean, I'm noticing a huge difference tonight with the frame rate and whatever, but, I mean, I've never had a bad frame rate, but, you know, it's it's staying solid. I haven't really had any frame drop at all. I think I had a little bit before y'all came in, and I didn't even have anything on the ground, so I think it was just the game rendering in. You can't say there's nothing on the ground now, put it that way. Oh, you got a whole bunch up there for me, buddy? Oh, well, yeah, you should probably come over soon. I'm unloading my truck. I was trying. I still got the plastic jaws on. I still haven't got the money for the good ones. Yeah, the same issue in today's video. Oh, you recorded a login video today? Well, I did earlier. Well, actually, yeah. Today, for tomorrow. Well, yeah, because you know tomorrow is Forestry Wednesday. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bill, can it, Bill can have his farm soon. I'll farm some Saturdays. I would have, I would have, you know, maybe done a Forestry Friday or something, so that way it would all, you know, F and F, but Forestry Wednesday will work. See, that's the way you think, because you're American. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I have that. Freaking Americans, huh? Yeah, we do everything logically. <laughs> Oh well. Someday we'll get with the times, huh, Moose? Instead of it's finally Friday, it'll be it's finally Wednesday. Yeah, or it's finally tea time or something <laughs> like that. Tea time at it's Tuesday. Finally, tea time. What am I doing? Why am I going that way? How oh, you guys drink more tea than I have ever done in my life. Yeah, but that's sweet tea, bud. Sweet tea, that's different. Sweet tea just shares the root word. I remember when I was young, I went to New York, and uh, this is back in the 80s. I went to New York and ordered an iced tea, and they they wanted to card me. Really? Oh, were they thinking hard tea? But yeah, because back in back in the day, you know, Northerners pretty much drink tea hot. Mm -hmm. Southerners drink it cold. I don't know of any northerners around me that drink hot tea, but I suppose. Maybe. I'm just saying, back in the day, back in the day when I went to New York, they didn't know what iced tea was. I don't even know where I'm going. I think it's that way. I think it's this way. 
Uh, the uh, grapple in this thing's completely spazzed out. <laughs> Telling you, no more trees, no more trees. So far, I'm pretty happy with this, though. It's not really bad. Well, if you're happy, Moose, I'm happy. I'm glad to know you finally care about my opinion. <laughs> Someone please mark the calendar. This is June the 2nd. I'll remember it. <laughs> Aliens came last night and abducted Recon. <laughs> I even went and I grinded all the stumps the other night and oh yeah holy frickin crap look at this nightmare we got a landy kid it's a rare sighting Ooh, I thought I locked up again. I think that was an autosave. I had a little bit of a uh, hesitation there myself. See, Landy, there's a tree up there, too. I don't really understand that. Well, to me, that was just half a stump. No, I'm talking about up in the air. Up here, there's a tree. <laughs> Somehow half oh. cut. <laughs> That's probably a hill that he uh, flattened out. Could have been, yeah. So what'd you do your uh, forestry map on? This one. Oh, did you? Did you start in the same place, or where did you start? Same place. How much did you get? Oh, I was just basically setting up and removing the logs from the pathway or the trees. Mm -hmm. So I've not even started to cut yet. Basically a little Perhaps bit so. of a tutorial or a walkthrough of it. Pretty much just clearing this skidding road, as I called it. That's the title of the video. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a slow process on that map, sooner when you're doing it once a week. Yeah, it will. Wow. Then are you only going to play it that one day a week? More than likely, yeah. Oh, I didn't know if you'd do a little bit off camera or whatever. I've barely been doing any off camera. Mm -hmm. Well, if you ever need any help, Too give me a shout. What's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Too much rain at Kings. You know where a good couple of hands are, at least, if you need any help with anything. You guys hey, have you got this here. You only just set it down on the ground here. What's that, buddy? Put it for the chipper. Well, yeah, yeah, you can. There's plenty here for That's me. That's a rather large log, though. Yeah, it is. But I mean, if I say grab all the tops, you know, how many tops do you have? If we cut 20 trees, you have 20 tops. That's it. 
I'll uh, I'll leave everything that I don't want to pick up, and uh, I'll just have you chip that. Basically, after I get a good run started on you, you know what I mean. But for right now, just chip. Y'all see chip. how this thing's sliding down the hill? <laughs> yeah, I wonder why the JCB trying not to move. Well, JC, I think everything is screwed up because they've got the downriggers down too far on that stupid chipper. Yeah. So really, I mean, you don't have much control what happens to the tractor. Basically what you were dealing with in the beginning of the video. Even though a low boy is not really meant to get off-road at all. No, God, no. I'll try to get out of your way, Moose, and keep a clear path here for you. Yeah, I'm just kind of picking and choosing through and finding whatever's got tapers on it, you know? Yeah, yeah. And like I said, I'll try to... I'll leave anything that's kind of small that I don't want to take. The pile then, that you're probably hitting up now, there's going to be something in there that's going to be a little small. Yeah, there's a lot of the, small here. Um, hot full length, I cut off, off the ground. But you know, the chips make good money too, so I'm not afraid to. Yeah, they do. Really let some halfway decent sized logs go. What I would like to uh, end up getting is the uh, uh, the sawmill mod in. I think that would be kind of cool. Because I've never you used know, it. You know, in all honesty, it's just, it's so slow. It just doesn't. I mean, for you, if you're playing on this every day, yeah. But remember, it's four hours before you have a load of lumber. Mm -hmm. Is that real time or is that in game? It's four hours in game. Mm. So unless you fast time it, it's four hours real life. Mm-hmm. Come on now. No, oh, no, really. How are your all frame rates going right now? I gotta say, this is this is one of the hardest things that could ever happen to your computer, probably. You got me loading logs, you got you chipping, and you got Landy Kid freaking grinding stumps in the same freaking 20 foot area.
Uh oh. What? I lost the entrance. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I didn't know where to go. <laughs> Flick on the GPS. I don't have that mod in. Huh. Tom Tom. <laughs> And my frickin' tracks are missing. Dang it. I don't think my wood chips have been getting into the tractor trailer. I don't think that's the way around. Really? Well, you think she's too far away, or...? Yeah, I'm gonna reposition it. Oh, you got some in there, but barely anything. Yeah, you would've had to refill by now. They were going in there. Or empty, should say. How's she chipping, Moose? She's chipping fine. I'm gonna take this flegal and feed it through the chipper in a minute. Oh. It's probably best to have a tractor and trailer instead of a semi. Yeah, I just wish they actually gave you a place to dump the chips at the yard. There's a mod that you could probably put in for that. But yeah, I was looking at that myself when I you know, that set way up from the video. You could take your tractor, bring it down here, unload it, and then load up the semi and go sell it, you know? Yep. Because, I mean, you're not really going to drive whatever realistic distance to the lumber yard in a tractor with a frickin' trailer. Even though it's not that far, but I mean it's another realistic way of doing it or not. I messaged uh, Bill, he's at Dilly's game there. Oh, uh, Dylan's bicycle? Yep. So it must not be raining there. Yeah. It's been raining here good for frickin' three, four days. and digging trenches and everything else at work just to get the water out of the frickin' mulch bins and everything else. Wow. Yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. Yeah, but you're not in Texas. That's right. That's right. But it is just like Texas down there. I mean, it's swamps or whatever you get for rain. It doesn't sit, seep down into the water, you know. It frickin' lays on top of the ground in pools and pools and pools. I mean, we had eight inches of water behind the uh, mulch bins there yesterday. And it doesn't do very good for black dirt and whatnot, so. Mm. 
Yeah, it's not good when you have a high water table. No, and that's, I mean, Plattsburgh basically is freaking built on a swamp. That's why I got in so much trouble for digging where I dug. <laughs> Trying to make more room. DEC didn't like that. <laughs> so I guess come summertime, you got a lot of mosquitoes. I don't know. It's our first year here, so. Oh. I mean, yeah, I, I, I we'll wouldn't be... doubt it by any means, but yeah, I mean, we'll see. That and yesterday when I got home, I freaking went out back and I burnt a whole bunch of boxes and everything else from the uh, all the baby stuff mm -hmm. because we've been in a uh, drought or whatever the freak you want to call it, a burning ban. So I figured yeah. I might as well get the burning done while I could. I went out and burnt probably hour, two hours, had a whole bunch of trees and limbs and everything else burn. Got back in the house, freaking sat down on the couch and... Watched a little TV. I looked down at my lap and I had stinking ticks crawling up my pants. No way. Yeah, I freaking freaked out. And they weren't deer ticks. They were the whatever the freak you want to call them. The small itty bitty little yep. yeah. So I'm gonna spray the crap out of my lawn. I don't know if that'll do anything, but. They ain't nothing to mess with. How long have we been going, recording-wise? Me, not nearly as long as you. How no, long have you been going? You've been on an hour and 12 minutes, and I've been on 55. Okay, so we're not even on an hour yet. I figured I'd break it off in an hour, and then I would make another video. That way I could just have a couple, just in case I'm busy, or I know I'm going to be busy, but... That way, if I missed a night, I could still throw up a video, you know? Yeah. I didn't want to get too much. 
you know, an hour and a half or something like that. It can take freaking three days or whatever, especially with Sony Vegas. I've been having problems unless I do 1080. It won't actually uh, render properly. We need, probably need to just switch it off so it doesn't use your uh, video card. Oh, with CUDA? Yep. Did a lot of reading into that when those drivers come out. The bad set for Vegas. Ah, maybe. I remember you saying something about that. Then again, I don't think I down. I, I think I'm a back a couple uh, updates on the video. Even then, I switched it off. I noticed a huge difference using it. I mean, like maybe 20 minutes on an hour video. See, I don't. Uh, for me, it takes a, a good hour. For 50 minutes to an hour. For how long? For a 35 of a video? minute video. Oh, that's and I'm ridiculous. Hell of a better computer than you, sort of. RAM and processor. Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like I said, I mean, usually, it, all depending on what the video length is, it normally takes just under the amount of time that the video length is to actually render for me. So, like a 45 minute video, probably be down to 40 minutes. That's crazy, because all my videos take the time it of the video plus another 10 minutes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but you have a lot of stuff you do in your videos too, bud. Not anymore. I, I did notice that at the end you didn't have the uh, the cool little ending. I like that. Why Why did you take it all out? A lot to deal with. Yeah, I figured. I didn't know how much it was, you know, being a computer uh, whatever you want to call it electric a what it's just it's not really it's not really that much to do in the in my end of it as far as is rendering the video yeah it just takes it like a couple of minutes to do it it's in the post side of it after I upload it to YouTube I gotta go in and put all the annotations in and do all the links and everything else like that on the end of it and nobody's watching it, so it just, why bother? Yeah, but it comes with time, buddy. Like, well, the no, people I mean, that go back and have subscribed to me today and watch my videos, there's no special features like you have. <laughs> You've got a classy, I'm, classy, classy way of doing videos. Yeah, it's what I'm nice. saying is, is uh, back on the back end of it, most people, if I look at my analytics, 90% of the people that watch my videos aren't watching to the end of it to even see that. So, why bother with it? Well, that's like me right now. I mean, how many people are actually going to be here still watching me doing this? It's not for the people that aren't. It's for the people that are, in my eyes. And that's, you know, say three people do it. Well, hey, that's three people. I'm happy you're still here. <laughs> you right. know what I'm and, saying? And, and the way I look at it, though, is the three people that watch all the way to the end of my videos are diehards and they've watched all the videos that I've been putting up anyways so putting back links to the video from the day before is kinda useless because like Castaway's point. already watched my video from yesterday I see your point yeah I just I, I really liked it I really wish I could learn how to do that type of stuff because it's really I mean it, it just shows a lot a lot to come in the future where with my videos basically what I'm doing is what they get because I have no knowledge in any of that and I mean maybe I could do something catchy or whatever but I don't have the time to do it you know what I'm saying yeah and I'll be honest I've changed a lot of things that I do with my videos I used to render everything to pass VBR and I used to maximum settings and maximum depth and everything else like that but then it would take three hours to render a 45 minute video yeah. Um, and then with my internet connection the way it is, it, it's like I'm trying to cut as much time out as possible. Maybe down the Whoa. road when I upgrade my computer and go to cable, I might put some of that stuff back in and, and do some more fancy stuff. Mm -hmm. But for now, I'm just trying to keep it simple. I'd like to get with you someday when I have some time and you have some time and you could show me some of this stuff because really it is 
It is awesome. I mean, I would actually watch all your videos just to get to the end to see what you had because it's cool. You know, you don't see that. That's a good trademark to have right there. Place where you see that a lot is yeah. these vloggers. Now you're making me feel bad. I'm gonna have to go no, back and start no, pulling No, 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 no. By no means, man. Do I want to make I'm more work for you? I'm just saying. That was it was it was really cool. It was game changer, you know. You had your normal gameplay, and then at the end, it was kind of like a uh, a TV episode, you know, where it's kind of catchy. It was cool. But you know, that's something that. Maybe people will miss, or maybe if you don't ever hear anything about it from anybody, they won't, and it was just me that liked it. You know? But you matter, Recon. You oh, matter. I, 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 I appreciate that, sir. I even have tried to put more, well, <laughs> the one time I was able to get my screenshots to work and I could actually make a uh, thumbnail, I thought that was cool. As stupid as a thumbnail is, your thumbnails are freaking awesome. But I don't have thumbnails, I just take a freaking image from what the computer grabbed and that's pretty much it. But, you know, it, it's a classy way of doing it, it, it shows you take time and you know, I mean, in my eyes, I wouldn't watch what I put up. I, I would go straight to yours because yours is flashy. Meaning, you know, it might be something to watch. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you, all you need to do is put with joysticks on yours and you're, wor you're a winner. That That is true. That is very true because there's very few of them videos out. With joysticks or with G27 and joysticks. Before yeah. I got any of these, I was trying to watch people that had them, and there wasn't not, not, nothing to watch. I mean, nobody puts that. They may have it, or they may play with it, but they don't put it anymore. Mm -hmm. Ian does, and for Christmas, I want to get Ian a can of wool. Why? To get rid of all that rattle in his D27. That's the false feedback, because it hasn't got the... Uh mic on a spring or whatever. It's feeding up for his boom. Oh yeah. The grinding that you hear. Yeah, I try to keep the grinding right out of my videos. <laughs> well you I've haven't got, got a mic this attached to a desk. No, no, and I've also got three um yeah. three little whatever you want to call them, foam doodads there on my actual headset that way you don't pick up me sniffling or whatever yeah no yeah you're right Ian's thing is, is he's got a boom mic but he doesn't have a isolation yeah on the microphone itself yep so I might have to have my mic really close to my mouth but I still like that I like the sound of it better than just the one isolator well that's the reason you should record your audio the way we do because then you can use a noise gate yeah. in post and isolate all that stuff. It's just, like I said, more time that I just don't have. When I get done a video, I render it as is, just about, unless I have to pull something out. And then I go down and I take care of what I need to with a wife or whatever, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. got too much stuff with the house right now and everything else to I mean you guys know I haven't been on half <laughs> half as much as I normally am well it's only gonna get worse as it comes close to your kid oh yeah especially being summertime summertime's really hard for everybody I know that yeah always something to do and if there's not you make it
Mr. Landy, can you push me some more logs over here? You may need to move down a bit, because there is some down here. And the tops, the tiny ones, I can't even push. What? My grapple was acting weird. No. Oh, that'll work. I think you're right, Landy. The logs aren't really jittering around like they normally do. Yeah. Just a little bit here and there, but I mean, really. Really, really, really nice. The claw physics is something they still need to work on, but... They've got the locking script down, I think. Yeah. I'm still having a bunch of issues with that, but like I said, I don't know if that's multiplayer compatible yet or not. I'm gonna try it single yeah. player. But I'm still having a problem with two logs. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna end her there. We will continue on in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed.